Hello, welcome to this one's allotment journal update and uh, starting greenhouse. I want to show you that these, uh, well they're supposed to be peppers, but they look more like chilies, so we'll start into ripen anyway, so when they've ripened I'll tell you if they're hot or not. That one isn't, uh, this is the lettuce I've got, well, this is the all year round lettuce. Uh, some rocket, some mizuna for the uh, well, my sandwiches up for work over this um, winter. So I've got some spares in there. Do that's cut and come again. Just got a few peppers left on here. Jimmy Nardell's need picking now, and another one. Don't know. They're supposed to be sweet peppers, but we'll see. Anyway. We scoot off down the allotment and uh, we'll go and weigh them marriers. Welcome back to Chris's allotment. I'm just going to have a, a quick uh, run through how things stand at the moment and then I'm going to weigh me uh, marriers. So I've cleared all this front bed because I've got my manure coming hopefully next week. Pulled the rest of the beetroot up. Uh, pick some kale for tea. Nothing in the greenhouse. Dug this bed over. Uh, uh, not the whole bed, obviously, because I've still got some kale in and some sprouts that need staking. Dug this over. Got some red cabbage under that netting, and I've dug that bed over that had my onions in. Had to tidy up. One compost bin full. That'll drop halfway anyway, end of the by about a week or so. So what we're going to do is I've got three. I've got that one, one over there, and the big one. So I'm going to weigh all three and uh, see what we get. All right. So this is the what I think is the smallest one. So you see my size elevens. I'm going to cut the sever it. I'm not going to compost that because this, this land's got a uh, club room. So uh, we'll see. See what we can get off this one. It's not that heavy, it feels quite hollow to be fair. Scales, power them up. I want them on, I want them on pounds. So let's tear it. Zero. Maybe we should weigh the bag first, I don't know. I can't see. It's locked. I'll try again. Maybe batteries going. Unless it's too heavy in pounds, which I saw the other day with Dan's, and we've got I think we've got same scales. What's that? 30? 31? Yep. Let's call it 31 and a half pound. That one. So uh, 31.4. All right, so this is Mario number two, and this one's slightly bigger, so we'll cut this one off. And we'll get it in the, in the bag. Try and get some soil off it, don't want to be accused of cheating. Feels heavier. Still quite as if it's hollow in the middle though. Scales. Tear them so that it's on pounds. I think this is going to be a bit heavier. I can't see what it is. 41. 
just, yeah, 42. <coughs> they can't save it, but take your word for it. 40, 41 and... 41.98. 41.98. Let's move on to the next one then. Alright, and we're on to number three, which is by far the biggest one. So, let's cut these back a bit, show you. So I'm expecting, well, I'm hoping for about £55, but we'll see. Uh, don't want to... There we go. Clean some of this off. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to break any world record with it, but it's heavier than the other, that's for sure. October 50, I'll be well chuffed. See how late I got them in. Ready? Two, three. What are we looking at? It's just under 60. Yeah. Whew. Just under 60 pounds. Yeah. Spot on. Alright, see you later. Alright, so there we have it. Just a 60 pound, 41 pound, and a 31 pound. Big thanks to Dan for supplying the seed. Really enjoyed growing these uh, giant veg, and uh, we're gonna have a bit of a competition with lad next to me. Well, I said lad, he's in his 60s. We're gonna have a competition, see who can grow the biggest marrow next year, because he's gonna have some seed out of there. So that should be fun. The only other thing, really, to show you, get rid of that slug, is uh, this is the Swede that I'm growing. From the uh, that club root resistant one, and it seems to be growing away. We'll see what that tastes like. Bit mixed results, really, with that, but we'll see. That's it for now. Wish your lot's drying off, they weren't moving out of there the next day or two. So, big thank you again for, to Dan for. The seed for this uh, for these maras. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Look after each other. Bye. <laughs>